What is up, friends? I hope you're having a great day. And today we're going to be talking about some FCF scripts, which are going to be used to look at Git repos. If you haven't done that or you're a software engineer and you want to get a little bit better at finding information in Git, then these should help you quite a bit. A funny side note, whenever I say, what is up, my Neovim friends, some people think I'm saying something else. So kind of a funny comment here. Uh, so hopefully I don't give anybody else a little heart attack whenever I say that phrase. If you're brand new to FCF, check out this video in the top right hand corner and it'll show you how to install and get it set up. You're going to need to have FCF to be able to run these two scripts. All right, we're here in my NeoVim config directory, which is Git repo. So if we do GS, which is short for Git show, we can see that I have this tracked and I have some commits in here. Both of these files are going to be in my dot files config, which I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can check it out and copy them so you don't have to write them out yourself or try and quickly write them as I'm going through them. Both of these scripts I have an alias for. So if I have alias and FSB, then you can see that this script is in my home directory and I just have an alias in my ZSHRC file. I haven't yet made the switch to using git work trees. And so if you have, this might be a little bit different of a workflow, but basically I check out branches either remote or on my local machine quite often, and I need to be able to switch to them pretty easily. I'd like to be able to fuzzy search for them, and so that's where this script fits in. This script is FSB, or fuzzy search branch, and so if I type FSB, then this little window will pop up, which is an FCF Tmux window, and I can quickly get to like update plugins, check that out, and I'm already there, and I can edit this branch to whatever I need to. If I hit this command again, I can do FSB, and if I hit control C or escape, then it'll clear and it doesn't check out any branch. And you can see that I'm still on that same branch. All right, let's walk through this first script. First off, it starts by getting all the branches. So doing a git command, do a git branch all, and then it pipes that into FCF Tmux. And from here, it's gonna open a floating window like we saw with the list of those branches from that variable that's set here. If no branch is selected, then we echo and bail out here in this if statement we say there's no branch, so just abort. And then the very last command will check out that branch that we've selected. It does a couple of set operations to clear off extra characters, remote, and all the directories and a trailing slash are removed so that we can do that git checkout. If you want a really easy way to quickly search for branches and check them out on your system, then use this script and let me know in the comments if you have any improvements for it. This next script is a way to search your git history and have a nice little preview and dive into git diffs so that you can quickly see what was changed, do a search over it and get an understanding and then be able to check it out if you need to. I've tried a few different plugins in NeoVim. I have Fugitive, I have a couple of telescope extensions for advanced git search and telescope itself, which has a built-in way to search for commits and explore them. So these are nice. Uh, it's nice to have them in NeoVim, but it's not as quick. And so this is where this script fits into my workflow is if I need to search for something and quickly get an understanding based on the diffs and what's been changed. The alias for this is F show or fuzzy show for the different git commits. So if we hit this, we can see that we have a little preview window on the right hand side and all of our different commits so we can go up and down using the up and down arrows or control in and control p and then if we want to fuzzy search so let's say i want to look for lua line then we can hit enter here and we can go down this opens up a pager then we go control d to down and control u up and then we can search in here so file format and we can see where file format was changed inside of here. Now, if we don't find the thing that we're looking for, we can hit Q and we're right back here outside and we can back this out and look for another thing, go into it with enter and then hit Q. And if we're done with our searching, we can hit Q again and it'll take us right back to our command line. Now, if we wanted to actually check this out, then we can hit control O and it'll check this out. And this is the commit that we'll be on. So this helps me to quickly jump into those commits, understand which one I need to, especially if we're doing some kind of a hot fix. This is where this script really shines. So try this one out and we'll dive into the details here in just a sec. All right, here in the script, this one starts with a git log, which is gonna be our input into the script and all the information that we're gonna show. And then it has some config here for the preview window, which is gonna show some different things for showing the commit and the diff and setting some colors. So this is how that diff window gets populated. Then this header and all these bind keys, these are 
options for the FCF command. And so this is a header to describe some of the behavior. You can hit enter to view and you can hit control O to check out. And then these are different keys that are set up. This become is the thing that I had to figure out. So whenever you check this out, it's gonna switch the process from being FCF to being Git. And that way we get returned back to our console instead of being returned to an FCF window. So this was a, a very clever way to, to get this working. Uh, control M, this is a way to execute. And so this is gonna execute that preview window as well. And then this is just another config right here on setting the preview window and where to show it. So this is the whole script. Again, it leverages FZF and it's very critical to both of these scripts to be able to work. And this is an amazing tool. If you haven't checked out my previous FZF video and you wanna see some other ways to configure it and use it, definitely check that out. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you to everybody who has commented and watched all the videos. I really appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Thanks everybody.